You can also easily work around with tables inside of Google Drawings. So to work around with tables, first of all, you need to go around and click on insert. And over here, you can see that table is an option. So once you go to table, you will have to select the range of cells that you want to include in the table. Let's say, for example, you want, uh, let's say, for example, four by five column right here. Simply click and a table is created. So now you can move the table wherever you want. So now you can go around, click and drag around to select out cells right here and enter up data list. So let's say, for example, I'm going to say SN right here, item right here. I'm going to say price right here. And I'm just going to say discount just like this. So you can go around, select out the cells, press control B and use the formatting options that you have right here. You can also click uh, click and drag around uh, to change and resize out the cells right here. As you can see, you can select out the cells right here. You can right click, merge up the cells together over here as well. You can right click, merge up the cells together or you can right click and unmerge the cells out to separate that out again. You can also select around the cells right here. And then what you can do is you can distribute the rows so that it actually balances everything out. So you can select this, you can distribute out the rows and columns so that it actually goes around and then arranges out the cell, cell, cell size accordingly, just like this. You can also go around over here. You can right click and see that you, you can insert the row above right here or you can insert the row on the left right here. Insert, uh, let's say, a column on the left, insert column on the right. You can also select out and delete out the row over here as well or right click and delete out the column over here as well. You can also right click and delete out the entire table if you want to as well. So this is the table as you can see and what you can also do is you can go to formatting option and you can work around with the size right here as you can see. You can even lock the aspect ratio, work around with the position um, of the table as well and work around with the text fitting. So you can go around from the left side and right side and so forth. If you were to select around the cell, uh, let's say for example, you can also go around over here and do a background fill right here. So simply select the color that you want to fill it with. You can select out and then fill it out with a background color. You can also select this out and apply the text formatting option right here as you can see. And that is how you can work around with tables and manage out data in tables inside of Google Drawings. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.